So we just got a new toy delivered. I always wanted one. Uh, this is actually a pressure test pump. It's funny enough because this is an exact copy of the Rotenberger uh, RP50, which is a German product and all the labeling is in German as well. But it definitely comes from China because the original uh, the original pump is probably about six times the price. <laughs> oh, someone is going pretty fast here. It's 40 miles an hour here and he's just probably a hundred. All right, we give that a try because we need to test one of our compressors. Uh, it was sitting for several years and <laughs> I don't have the bolts to turn it on because I don't know how the, the vessel is. So we're gonna test that. What you do is uh, you don't test them with air, you test it with water and if it pops only the water comes out, it doesn't explode. That's the principle and it's also used for pressure testing domestic installations and things like that. It's always good to have some test gear. I, I got some other test gear which is not used very often but if you have it, you have it and you're self-sufficient, you don't need to hire it because if you go to a tool hire station you pay probably two days worth of hiring for this thing so what's the point of hiring it just buy it because you need it more than two times for sure at least i do anyway we'll come back when we actually use this thing so there we're going to do a pressure test on this compressor here it's uh, pretty old i probably have it for 30 years now and it was sitting for several years because it was too powerful to power it up and places I lived before. Um, my neighbor is still doing wood chipping here. Sorry for the noise. Um, we took the, the plug out. It's a bit rusty inside. And uh, we also took the drain cock out, which is with open but it's plugged. So when I took the plug out there was a little bit of pressure coming out. Uh, so at first we need to clear the, the drain hole and then we clean clean up the drain cock and uh, then we put some pressure in water, obviously not air, because if you do it with air it may explode. We test it to 10 bar, the compressor runs at about 9 or so. Uh, I don't know, and we check what the safety valve rating is, probably go a little bit higher. Uh, but first we need to change, we need to clean out the drain hole uh, and fill some water in, flush it through. That's the plan for now. The drain hole is open and guess what? Water is coming out, but it's clear water. It's not, so it's maybe only good condensation. It's not rusty water, which is a good thing. So, first thing we're gonna fill that thing with the uh, with water and drain it through. So we're just flooding it with water and uh, there's no sludge coming out, that's good. Not too bad. So here we've got a data plate. Uh, it's 1982. It's a 90-liter tank and uh, maximum pressure is 11 bar. So, we flushed it. It's clean inside, so no rusty water coming out. That was my major concern. Uh, I think I bought that somewhere in the 90s and uh, have it since. But yeah, it was too tough to put. It was in sitting in storage for a long time, so mainly for power and the second one was size so I bought that small one here but it's only 50 liters and it's a pain in the neck if you do some blasting this thing never stops all right um i got a bigger one in the workshop but that has other issues we're gonna cover that in a separate video um okay let's put the drain cock back in and put a put something on here so we can actually put some pressure in so we hooked everything up uh, we left the top open and now we fill it with the pump until until it's full. Make sure there's no air left. 
may take a little bit. Let me fill that, it's tedious. It's just sitting this thing. Uh, I used the, the plug adapter here. And uh, once water comes out here, we put the plug back in and then we put some pressure on. And now it starts raining, great. So we got it full. Now put the plug in and see what happens. Okay, plug is in. See if we can build some pressure here. sitting for a while. Uh, you can see it's leaking a little bit here on this uh, tap. Yeah, it's leaking at the tap. So the valve is closed. We're on 10 bar. Leave that sitting for a while. And Because if it pops, water doesn't expand, air does, so bits are flying around with, with water, it just pops and water comes out. Let me pump a little bit more here. So that's about that's about eleven now. We have had no cracking all the only thing I heard was the pressure switch, which came on at some point. And uh, that's how you test the compressor vessel or compressor tank. Never do it with air, always do it with water. And if a compressor was sitting for a long time, check it. Because if this thing goes pop, um, yeah, it makes a mess. All right, I'll leave that sitting for a while and come back. Okay, it's now half an hour later. Uh, I'm gonna leave the pressure here. And take the plug out. Open the drain cock and drain the water. <coughs> That's what we're gonna do now. And then we blow it through with air <coughs> to make sure it's dry inside. And we call that good. We inspect it for any cracks, but I, I didn't lose pressure. It only lost pressure on the on the outlet valve, and then we're going to fix that anyway. All right. So let's do that. So we just put a nipple in there and another one in there, and then just drain it. It falls. So, wait until this is drained. And uh, we'll come back. So we got the water out. That's not tight here. Uh, just to see if there's more water accumulated here. Not really. Uh, a little bit is still coming. Okay, we're gonna do an oil change. Uh, have a quick look inside, and maybe we give it a lick of paint uh, because it's gonna live outside with the cover on top. Because it's just too bulky to have it in the workshop, so it goes behind the garage. Make a little lean-on extension here where the compressor sits and the other one probably as well. well I'm, I'm at the moment I'm feeding from this one because I have no plug on that one but uh, we're gonna do the oil change first and that's gonna come next. I'll carry on another time. I just want to have it tested otherwise I would scrap the tank. But looks good. Anyway that's it for today. I've got enough.
Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time.